Hi, I'm Chad of Enviro Responsible, and I'll be taking on a tour of our store and talking about what we do here. So, this is the entrance here. Got some barrels in the front, bulletin boards with news, updates, some antique tools. This is the front room, the showroom, again with another bulletin board. And some of the nicer items or repurposed items that we've taken and made into something else. Here's some jewelry that I've made from reclaimed wood. Uh, what else do we have here? There's a table here that I've made out of barn board. That's a potting bench or a table that one could use inside. There's the sign that I made for the trade shows that I have coming up. There's a bench that I made from a door. I put it on the table saw and made a few cuts and screwed it together. And now it's an interesting bench. This is something that my friend Brent made. That is made entirely of discarded wood that wasn't good enough for skids even, so Brent made a beautiful box out of it, a chest, and the lining inside is laminate flooring that otherwise wouldn't have been enough to use on the floor, so a small square footage of excess laminate flooring is now the interior of the box. There's a nice easel, there's a, a nice old door with a, a ton of charm, and this is the next room here. This is the rain barrel setup that we have. This is a display here so you can see the different types of barrels and the composters. This is a shelf that I've made out of a defunct window. The bottom was rotted out so I squared it up on the bottom. Used some antique trim and made some shelves out of it. So now instead of going to the dump, that's an interesting piece that someone could have in their home, in their office. This here is the newest rain barrel product, the newest barrel that we've released. It's $25. It includes the same type of fitting that goes on the other rain barrels, solid brass. It will accept a garden hose, that tap there. And it's food grade, non-toxic, 55 gallon. And it's the cheapest barrel that I've seen on the market, so come on in and grab one. Here are some five gallon barrels that are watertight with handles. Very sturdy barrels, $15 each. Great for camping, storing other items. This is the smaller room with some hand tools and some other items like electrical, floor registers. Soon this entire room will be dedicated to metals. I've started working with some metal recover, recovery people. They're otherwise known as scrap metal dealers. And we, instead of melting it down, recycling it into a similar product, which is kind of silly really, it's already a usable product, no need to recycle it. We are bringing it in here and offering it up to the public at reduced prices. And our price point is around 60% of what most other places like big box stores or other, other places charge. This is the warehouse. It's a constant work in progress, a continual shuffling of the deck, we'll call it to keep it organized and keep the stock all in a presentable manner. Uh, we've got some barrels in the back there. Can't see them yet. We'll see them in a moment. Here are some antique doors that have been salvaged from a farmhouse in Whitby with the frames and all. Beautiful pieces. Just waiting to go into a nice home or even a commercial setting. We have exterior doors, interior doors, larger older windows, bifolds, mahogany slabs. There's some vinyl cove, a whole skid of it. 
Again, reduced prices we offer it to the public at a, at a much lower rate than what it would be buying new and we've diverted it from the landfill. There are the interior doors there. We have many, many cupboard doors. We have some plywood, mirrors, there are some of the barrels there. You can see we have a few. We're expecting some more. Expecting a shipment soon of another shipment of the black barrels. A lot of people are buying the black barrels for dock barrels, for the type of rain barrel that we just saw. The barrels by themselves are ten dollars and the black ones are ten dollars and you can make your own rain barrel with them if you like. Here's some other products, screen, some cedar shakes. Here we have some foam rolls that's good for packaging, some door openers, all types of shelving, wood, some flooring that you can see there. Here are some commercial doors that we have. We can get all types of commercial doors and frames. Just let us know if there's something you're looking for and we don't have it in stock at the moment. We can take your name and number and keep your information on file and we get new material all the time. So it's as easy as calling or emailing us. Some drop ceiling components, some fencing, some posts, have some pipe clamps there. Vanities, we have a few used toilets. Most of them are $35 a piece. We have continual stock on patio doors, entry doors. Here's our lumber and trim section. All kinds of nice pieces in there. We get the occasional wood stove. Here's a clawfoot tub, beautiful piece. It's sold, so you can't have this one, but we get them all the time. Like I said, we get different items continually, so this isn't the last one we'll ever have, by all means. We have a gorgeous entry door here, salvaged from the same farmhouse in Whippy. Has the trans and the side lights. Magnificent piece. Magnificent. In stellar condition. Ready to go into a commercial setting, maybe a pub, someone's house. I don't know. That's uh, It's just waiting for a good home though. It's a beautiful piece. Price to sell. Here's a nice post. We get kitchen counters all the time. We get balusters. Here's some vintage trim. We get different lengths and, and profiles of vintage trim all the time. Here's some more doors and frames. Here are some kitchen sinks, vanities, bathroom sinks, counters, shower doors. Here are some stainless steel kitchen sinks. They're priced between $40 and $50 compared to $160 new. We have faucets, again with some more vanities.